That's not the one with knowledge. What machine are we gonna draw? I kind of like the, that one. Uh, that has wing like this. Oh, you like the bat with the wing folded over? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that one. This one is a bit of a challenge to get the sizes right. So, let's do this one. Okay, we're gonna start. You ready? Let's draw right in the middle of the page so we have enough room to get Mr. Pusheen Bat on the page. I'm gonna start with the top of the head. Okay, angle this just slightly. Angle it over just slightly. And then at the top, curve it up and down. Let's create that bat ear, that Pusheen ear. How's that? Good. Love it. Okay, now let's do the forehead. Let's do a normal, uh, pretty small forehead. Give that a little quick go. Excellent. Now let's angle up and create another ear. You see how I did that? The same way we just did it. And this one, I'm gonna pull down the side of the head, the same length. Let's just do it the same length. That's the beginning of most of our Pusheens, right? That's how we start most of our Pusheens, even if we stick them in the little pumpkins. Now, guess what? We're gonna just pull down this Pusheen body and create the whole shape of the body. Okay, let's do the whole shape of the body. Round this out at the bottom. Kind of looks like a little jelly bean down here. Actually, this looks like one of those peep candies, those marshmallow candies. I keep talking about those. I was at my dad's and he like hoards the candy at Easter. So he has them all year. Like dad, you don't need to hoard candy. It's not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> super funny, super funny. At the bottom here, I'm going to put the letter U. I'm going to put the letter U. Put the letter U down here. And another letter U over here. There we have the feet. Awesome. We've got feet. I'm going to erase the line that connects them. Okay, let's erase those lines right there. Woohoo! Okay, I'll let you catch up. Elizabeth, we are drawing Pusheen Bat. Ooh, the Pusheen Bat. You can do it with the wings flapped over or the wings out. Okay, whichever one you want to do, it's up to you. But I'm going to be drawing this one right here. Okay. And if you want to do the other one, you can just make that wing over here go out as well. Excellent. Everybody got it so far so good? Yes. Okay, so now we're going to put a U right in the middle of that forehead. Put a U up there. Get that U. Then we're going to put another one on each side of that one. Creating those Pusheen stripes. Good. Now come down from that and we're going to draw big eyes. Now I, I think the Pusheen is just dressed up as a bat, but I'm pretty sure bats don't have that big. Well, they have pretty big eyes. They don't see well, but they have big eyes. Um, I'm going to make sure to put a reflective spot in here so when I get out my markers, I don't forget that detail. Good. We've got a mouth, so I'm going to start in the middle and do the letter J. And then I'm going to do a backward letter J. Okay, good. We've got a cute bat going on. Sweet. Yes, ma'am. I have a suggestion. Yes. Maybe you should put uh, bat teeth on it. Bat teeth? Wow. Uh, this one I kind of cover up with the wing. But I like the bat teeth idea. Let's see how to incorporate that. Yes, Mr. Jonathan. 
Uh, I got an idea. Why don't you make the poutine hanging upside down so uh, the wing like this, it can't fly? Oh, uh, well, guess what I'm going to do. Guess what I'm going to do. Here's Pusheen the bat. Bloop! I turned it upside down. <laughs> I don't really enjoy drawing upside down, so I thought, well, after we draw it, we'll just turn it upside down. How's that? And that way, when I cut out my puppet, I'm going to have extra down here and go above it like that. Is that cool? You could probably draw some kind of tree branch going across here or something of that nature. What do, what do bats hang out in? Let's do whiskers, two on each side. And on this side, I'm going to have the wing open. Okay, so right below those whiskers, I'm going to angle up and then down. I kind of like a little mountain right there. Up and then down, good job. And from there, I'm gonna curve down and then go up and curve down. And then I'm gonna curve up and then go down. So sort of like the letter M right here. Do you see that, the letter M? And then I'm gonna curve up onto the bat. So now I'm gonna erase that little line there because it's part of the body. Gotcha. So if you want your wings out, then you can do the same exact thing on the other side, okay? So just do the same exact thing on the other side. I'm going to fold the wing over because I'm gonna turn it upside down and he's gonna be hanging there, okay? So we're gonna have the hanging Pusheen bat. Love it, love it, love it. A hanging Pusheen bat. So inside of this wing, I wanna add the thickness of the, the actual wing. So I'm gonna make a nice curve right here make it tight. So what I'm doing is adding these little skin flaps right here. Perfect. So then we're going to do the same thing right here. Make another one. And then one more coming toward the body and ta-da. You got it. I think we're doing awesome bats don't have tails do they because i didn't put a bat tail on this thing Whew. i was getting concerned maybe you think maybe they have tails i don't think they have tails i don't think they have tails okay good uh, i just want to make sure just make sure yes ma'am They have little tiny tails. It's like a little tiny tail and their wings go. So it's kind of, it's kind of like a point like this. Oh, so we can't see it on this cause. Yeah. We're like, oh good. Okay. Whew. I was gonna say, I didn't, I didn't put a wing on there. I mean a tail on there. <gasps> okay. Now on this side, we want to go over right at the same height as this side. Okay, you see that? And then I'm gonna draw a nice curve up and then in the middle of the body, I'm gonna come down. So we're drawing this side of the wing. We're drawing the same wing right here on this side. Okay, that sounds confusing, but stick with me. Erase this part of the body. Got it, erase that part of the body because you've got that overhang right here. Okay, so curve this down Okay, so now we're going to start over here. We're going to do that nice letter M. So curve up, go down, curve up, go down, and touch. That's all you need to do. Woohoo! I think we did good. Mine is really sharp down here. I want to round it out. Okay, now inside of that really cool section is these three flaps right here. 
So at the end here, it's going to be right at the edge. So we can just go curve right to it. Okay, just curve right to it. I think mine needs to be a little taller though. I'm looking at this one to make sure I get about the same height. There we go. That's better. And then we're going to add that little thickness, come up, go down, and then come up and go down. Way to go! We got a bat. And when we're all done, we can turn it upside down. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> okay, what do we, I know bats where I used to live in Texas lived in trees. So I'm just going to put like a nice long tree branch for Pusheen to hang on. Okay, I'm just going to put a really cool long branch. Uh, that way, when I turned upside down, it doesn't look like She's just floating in space. Is that cool? Okay, color-wise, I'm going to do a violet, and I'm going to do an orange. I cannot see what that word says. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what color I'm using. <laughs> that's just terrible. Make me feel so old. <sighs> And I'm going to fill in these spaces. I'm going to do a really good job. Just one, one value. And then later I'll go back and bring in my gray and shade some spaces. Actually, I could shade right now with my orange and get some depth on that. Because the skin flaps, there's probably a little shade uh, shadow right there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of depth right there and see if I like it. I think I do. Okay, light purple for Pusheen. I think she's pretty happy that she's a bat. Why not? Would you be happy if you were a bat? Now, these little stripes up here are orange as well. Let me tell you that before you color them in. Those are orange. That's looking really good. Woohoo! I like the wing to be a little darker, so I go over it more than the body part because I want the wing to be a little bit darker than the body. Here we go. And under the wing, should be a little darker because that wing is casting a little bit of a shadow down onto that body right down here. So I might add a little gray here in a second underneath that. Um, that's why I actually sleep at day, so I'm going to draw the daylight and the bat is sleeping. <gasps> that is a clever idea. I like that. That is a good idea. I shall try that. I love that idea. Because if it's daytime and the bat's awake, you should be running away. <laughs> be afraid of bats during the day. I'm not afraid of bats because we have lots of cats. Oh, look at you. That's the way to handle the situation. Wow. Cats do take care of... I don't have cats and I don't have bats. I have hawks and my dog chases them away so they don't get my foster puppies. Cats so I, usually don't eat bats. They usually... Just chase, eat... chase them off, maybe? Yeah. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. I'd keep them around for that. Oof. Most definitely. I need a cat to chase off the hummingbirds that attack me when I come near their the red <laughs> flower bush that I have. They attack me. I'm like, dudes, these are my flower bushes. I need to water them to keep them alive for you. And they attack me. Um, Bats are actually good. They can eat 
up to 10,000 mosquitoes a night. <gasps> Where can I get one? I need one for my backyard. Uh, can I buy I one? No. Oh, I need to buy one for real. I can handle a pet bat. I, I can buy a bat house and then they usually come. Okay, I will have to investigate because I am so tired of mosquitoes. I will go outside get the mosquitoes. They eat me. They eat me so much. I am. Oh, I forgot whiskers. I thought I was done. No, let's do the whiskers. There we go. You guys are awesome. I will see you in the next